mi pregunta también va como eh, hacia lo de la pedagogía y es una estrategia de ese artista eh, lograr eh, una etnografía pedagógica y cómo observa usted eh, la relación de esta práctica artística sin que llegue a ser el artista un maestro sino um, como una condición de saberes similares en la, en la comunidad sin que haya jerarquía de, de maestro a, a aprendiz sino haya una igualdad de saberes o sea, que el, 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 el persona, en la comunidad donde llegue el, el etnógrafo no sea lo que quiera saber, sino hay saberes totalmente igual. No es el que enseña, sino simplemente es el que como comparte la, los mismos saberes, o, o no los mismos saberes, sino como seres humanos, las mismas relaciones, compartir esos saberes. Right, I mean, Obviously, this idea of equal intelligence or equal access to knowledge, um, you know, that's, you know, that's an ideal, too. But what, what he does in these spaces, in these monuments to these different philosophers, is that he actually creates um, libraries, he creates an internet space, um, he creates places where mostly young people, or people who are unemployed, can hang out and talk about whatever, but they might talk about the things that, that he has put there for them to talk about. So yeah, there's always a hierarchy. And you know, th this is what I meant to suggest by um, my opening, which is that there are you know, different kinds of precarity. I mean, you might feel, Hirschhorn might feel precarious in his own practice as an artist, but He's not economically precarious, he's not socially precarious. And so this, these pictures were meant to suggest how there is inequality in these situations, to be sure. Uh, but again, there's, there's the, the goal of a, of a community, however momentary. And I mean, when I, let's tell you an anecdote, a quick anecdote. When I first got to know Hirschhorn a little bit, uh, he came over for dinner after a, a talk, um, and I threw together some friends who I thought might be interested to meet him. And he, um, in a way that one never does in polite academic society or polite art worldly, um, encounters, he immediately, and with real force, but also great ethics, asked everyone there what is his or her project. Um, it wasn't aggressive, but he really wanted to know what uh, defined them ethically and politically, and if they were artists aesthetically. And it produced the most extraordinary responses. And it came out of the mouths of friends of mine that I've known for decades that I'd never heard before. And it's, it's that kind of engagement that I, um, you know, I admire that he, you know, that he produces. Eh, no sé si por el espacio, no sé si por la situación, pero sí percibo que eh, en la conferencia de hoy, en la de hoy eh, fue un poco más cálida en relación con lo que vimos en la Luis Ángela. Sí, donde, donde se percibía que había como un intentar transmitir conocimiento para una gran cantidad de gente, aquí de todas maneras estamos en un espacio más íntimo y lo que se dijo me, me ha tocado más y me ha dejado como un, un sabor más cercano. Eso es lo primero que quería decir y, y eso lo agradezco. Y tengo dos pequeñas preguntas que tal vez están relacionadas. La una es si eh, precariado es una categoría o un estamento 
homologable a proletariado, pero digamos ya sabemos que el proletariado tiene un salario, tiene unas condiciones, y el precariado sería como este estamento que no tiene salario, que no tiene condiciones, que está desamparado. Si esto es verdad, ¿sí? eh, este artista ¿sí? usa el precariado como una disculpa para hacer arte, o políticamente también hay algo que favorece al precariado de toda su puesta estética y artística. That's a, uh, a very good question. I, I don't think one can say it's either one or the other. I think my experience of these projects, and I've experienced many of them, there's always a mix of the two. I, so I, I can't really answer. I think, in a way, um, that's for each of you to decide if and when you encounter this work. Um, you know, this morning I talked about the ideological patronage of the artist vis-a-vis -vis the proletariat in the early 20th century, how this was a concern of critics on the left. And it, I think, you know, as I suggested before, that the charge of ideological patronage could be leveled against Hirschhorn too. Um, but that's not my sense of how he practices in the world. Um, I think, in a way, his attack on cynicism uh, makes it important that we don't respond too cynically to his work. But I, I do think that that's a critique that can be made of many of these projects.
Don't do this at home. Por supuesto que, que tendríamos mucho más que conversar y mucho más que preguntar. Pero los tiempos declinan y es el momento de afinar. Justo para agradecer la presencia de José José. Muchísimas gracias y la presencia de todos ustedes. Gracias a todos. Gracias a todos.